Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I'm Max, and welcome to the MaxCast. This is my first time doing a podcast, so I apologize that this seems very disorganized and not the best quality. I'm still trying to figure this out. Anyways, today I want to do a bit of a dive into two things. One of the two, one of the two things I'm going to kind of wade into because I am terrified to do a deep dive into because people, low-key, scare me. The other thing will be thrown around into the first topic because it's about me and how I feel. For legal disclosure purposes, what I have to say is my own opinion and I am not going to call anyone out or show any screenshots because of privacy reasons. So with that out of the way, let's just jump right into this mess of a podcast already. On May 31st, 2021, the Toronto Maple Leafs lost Game 7 of their series and me being a Leafs fan was devastated and then proceeded to have a massive panic attack because I'm literally terrified that some people are just going to come after me and bully the hell out of me. I am full out going to say this now. Please do, do not do that in the comments here because my mental health is absolutely garbage right now. Anyways, because of this loss, my Twitter feed was an absolute shambles, calling for a trade of Mitch Marner and a lot of other stuff. I did not want to engage with people at that moment because I was in distress myself, but I just knew that this was not right. Now, I get it. We're all mad at the guy for not doing his very best and on the, on the most important game of the season. I'm in no way defending what happened on the ice, but I also admired a guy. To me, Mitch Marner is a beacon of light. I don't know the guy personally, and believe me, I would love to meet him one day. But I just think that Mitch and I would be the best of friends if we knew each other. That's how much I admire him. However, I am also a huge people pleaser and probably have undiagnosed social anxiety. So, when the Leafs Twitter was like, do not defend Mitch and we want Mitch to be traded, I did not know what to do and therefore began to fear other people. Like, what if I try to say something to defend someone that I consider a friend of mine? Would people jump down my throat and start yelling at me too? Before the Mitch Marner issue on Twitter, I had tweeted art that I had made of him. The day the drama started going down, I immediately deleted it. I kind of regret it now. It was a decent piece of art where I spent a good 10 minutes on shading alone. So who would not be proud of that? But the issue still played out in my head. Do I want to start on the jump on a guy and get on the whole side of trading him and hating him just for the way he played hockey in two very important games? Yes, I am upset on how he played. But do I really hate Mitch? For about two days, I struggled on if I should really please the people on Twitter and jump on the Mitch Marta hate train or not. I wanted to make people that I did not know happy because I was afraid they would come after me. Then things began, became worse and I found out that people were allegedly sending Mitch Marner nasty messages and started, starting to send videos of them burning his jersey. That alone was a wake-up call for me. I had to let go of the people-pleaser instincts because... People were bullying Mitch Marner over hockey. Let that sink in. There's a weird drive in me to defend him at that point. To find out people were being blatant bullies to a 24-year-old guy who does not know me made me feel things. I myself am 24 and, and I have been bullied growing up. Mitch is only three months and some odd number of days 
younger than me. I cannot imagine waking up every single damn day with thousands upon thousands of hurtful videos and messages. Mitch Marner, the guy who is always super positive and always finding positive ways to impact lives, someone who is considered to be my best friend even though one, we have never met, and two, do not know each other personally, getting hate? Oh, heck no. At some point, my must-defend-friend mode got activated. And I knew something needed to be said about this because this is not okay. I don't care about a devastating loss for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I care more about mental health and will actively advocate on mental health, especially after any sports season. It is way more important than a game. Keep in mind, Mitch Marner had to see John Tavares get injured back when the playoff series just started. We need to do better as a society and stop being absolute assholes to someone when one thing goes wrong. I can understand if people were giving him constructive criticism. For example, you say one positive thing, one thing he can improve on, and another positive thing to finish it off. Like, hey Mitch, you skated very well in that game, but your puck control, huh, it could use some work. Your passing skills, however, were on point. Something like that. It's not just tearing him down like how you guys were and frankly still are. It's not sending him hateful messages and videos of you guys burning his jersey out of spite. It's not comparing him to other bad players because that's just toxic. And being compared to anyone after a long time can cause long-term confidence issues. And it's certainly not yelling at him that he needs to be traded to a different team. Shut up about him being traded traded to a different team. I'm sick of that. We've always been taught to treat others the way we want to be treated. What happened to that? If you find yourself trying to do that, stop and try to put yourself in his shoes. Stop and think about that. Would you like to get torn up into shreds like this? Spread love, not hate. Let's all try to do better as people. Let's all be a Mitch Marner in our unique ways. Anyways, with that being said, thank you for listening to my first podcast. Be on the lookout for future podcasts. Give your, your brain a big old kiss and make sure you drink water. You matter and you are worth it. Check in on others and never be afraid to reach out for help. Be kind, be uniquely you, and please, don't be an asshole. Hey Mitch Marner, if you are listening to this and have listened to this whole train wreck of a podcast, I love you. Not romantically, just the platonic type love. Not to be weird. Um yeah, anyways, Max out.